Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Well, it's not only me that has the flu, but also Mattia Perin that will not be on the bench to play versus not. Today we are playing Europa League. It's a long time ago that we didn't play that competition and hopefully we can honor it because it can give us a ticket to qualify to the next Champions League, but the journey is really, really long. Of course, we will speak about the last update before today's game, but before that, let me please start with something exceptional because I have a big question is a star born yesterday Dean Huysen mamma mia what a player born in April 2005 the new De Ligt. this is how he was called when he joined Juventus from Malaga he was just 16 years old he's 17 now what a fantastic journey from the tall player that we have the one that potentially can be a future phenomenon of the defense. Dean Huysen yesterday in Coppa Italia from Serie C, so the third division Coppa Italia, he was not able only to score one goal, his first professional goal in Coppa Italia, but also to do a brace. That brace that brought us to a 2-1, that allowed us to go to the extra time and then to the penalty. 17 years old, he took that first penalty after scoring two goals with his left foot. He scored that one with the right foot. Dean Huysen, fantastic fantastic player what impressed me yesterday about that Dutchman is not only the fact that he scored because he's a central defender you can watch the the goal the second goal I did a short yesterday but it was not only the goal that impressed me but also his ability to play with maturity it's a player that last year played in under 17 with the young kids scored seven goals in Liga which is already fantastic it's one that is taking free kicks penalty shootouts but not only that also really strong into the box with corner kicks and when they are some set pieces that is not taking a player that immediately was promoted to the team of Montero under 19 to play with a Primavera after a few games Montero said this guy is too strong to play in that league let's promote it he's promoted in under 23 and not only to be on the bench and watch the others but to be a starter because he already played eight games with the under 23 guy this guy can potentially be a starter at Juventus in the future. Calma, of course, is still looking like a stick, but what a fantastic player. We have the future there, fantastic Dean Huysen. I'm super happy because we are going to the final. Guys, just one thing before entering Juventus, not Europa League, that team, the team that we have in Serie C, we were criticized a lot for doing only plus valenza, only profit case as well. If it's only profit case, it's really strange that in three years we go two times in the final in of Coppa Italia with one time that we already won it and hopefully we can win it again. Anyway, it is what it is. Now we have to speak about Juve not. Guys, don't forget, put a maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel. We open tutto sport. We're saying un popolo in cerca di rivincita. A people, some people, a community of Bianconeri that are looking for revenge. On and on the field. Starting with on the, off the field, today there was the CEO, De Siervo, CEO from La Lega, from Italian football, that spoke about the Juventus case, saying that it shouldn't have, have happened during the season. Important. Shouldn't have happened during the season. What is he referring to? The minus 15 points. It is an element of alteration of the championship because, of course, you are changing the journey, the story of 22-23. So far, only hypothesis of of crime so it's a hypothetical thing that we are judged on i hope that the penalty will be reconsidered because it is asymmetrical both on european and italian level after the big judgment after finishing all the papers italian but also internationally they are taking a step back not only the siervo but yesterday also gravina that said that there are no rules they are trying but there are no rules and possibility at the moment to judge these profit cases what will happen i don't know i don't want to give you false hope but something is moving towards the direction towards the direction to take away these minus 15 points attenzione again no false hope there revenge of the field but also on the field because Corriere dello Sport is saying la Champions passa da qui Champions League is going through the Europa League because you know it winning will give us a ticket 
qualification to the Champions League, but it's a long journey. We know that there are big teams there like Ajax, like Arsenal, like Manchester United or Barcelona, even Roma. Big, big teams are there in that competition. Long journey. But attention because Juventus can do it. Like Emery said today, Juventus is Juventus. Like one of his ex player Angel Di Maria, that said, La Juve è la Juve. We have to take revenge because we were eliminated of Champions League. Not taking revenge this time about anti Juve people or referees or whatever. We have to take revenge with ourselves because if we were eliminated, it's only because of us. The coach, the player, everyone was really ashamed. Shameful performances in Champions League that we have to do much better. If we are looking at uh, the possible lineups, well, a 3-5-1-1 is the one reported by everyone, by Tutto Sport, by Gazzetta dello Sport, by Romeo Agresti, by Giovanni Albanese. They are all agreeing with the lineups, just the men are sometimes changing. If the Tutto Sport this morning was going with a Locatelli, there was Paredes in Gazzetta dello Sport this morning, Albanese and Romeo Agresti, they confirmed the one that potentially could go down on the field today because that was the last lineup that was tested this morning. Of course, some changes can happen during the day, but we are going towards 90% of the one that I'm showing you now. Chesney into the goal, the Brazilian defense, then Kostic on the left, De Chilio continuing because yesterday... Um, Allegri said that Quadrado was still not at 100%, Rabiot, Fagioli in the middle, Paredes will be the regista, up front a 1-1 with Di Maria just behind Vlaovic, if we are speaking a bit about tactics before the one of not, well, why are we playing that model, because in non-possession we are a 3-5-2 that is giving a bit more defensive solidity, but we are able to play a 3-4-2-1 in terms of offensive power when we have the ball with Fagioli going up supporting Di Maria to assist our player that is there the number nine that was a bit too much isolated last time we were speaking about Dusan Vlaovic Iling Jr. today spoke about Dusan Vlaovic saying that not a lot of players have that energy one of the players that had that energy on the fields was Drogba what a beautiful comparison in terms of energy one that when he's pressing naturally is taking all the players with him the grande that's what we are expecting from a Dusan Vlaovic energy but also a lot of calma guys that can be one of the possibilities with Federico Chiesa on the bench, ready to enter to change the game. Depending on the result and what we want to do, it can pot potentially change one of the midfielders with Chiesa going towards a 3-4-3 or potentially continuing with that 3-5-2, changing him for Di Maria. We don't have to forget that we are playing versus Spezia on Sunday that uh, just sacked the coach. And we know that when they are changing coaches, it's always a bit difficult. What do we have to pay attention to not or where can we be stronger? Our friend, Italian one, that is on Juventus, Zenzola, my friend, great friend, Zenzola, he analyzed in detail the possible dangerosities of, of not. They are actually having a big weakest weak point. I'm sorry, guys, I'm totally confused. I'm a bit sick. But what is their weak point from not? The fact that they are have really difficulties to man mark or actually to defend between the lines. As you can see here when they were playing versus Paris Saint-Germain, but it's not only versus Paris Saint-Germain, when they are with balls, uh, between the lines that's quite difficult for not you see it here also on another example what can Juventus do is trying to find Di Maria between the line or other players but Di Maria in a 3-5-1-1 can be that key or going for example to a Federico Chiesa or the number the player that will be in that position at that moment going towards the lines otherwise what are the strong points of not well not is playing with a strong most qualitative qualitative player from not that is called Blas a player that is able to take the shot from the distance a player that is always there creating some difficulties pay attention to Blas that can be one of the most dangerous men for the men of Kumbare the coach of Kumbare the coach of Nantes Lafon Lafon, the goalkeeper that played in Italy with Fiorentina and was actually not judged good enough. Well, he's doing a fantastic, beautiful uh, league this season because he already had nine clean sheets on 22. Mollet is the other player that will be behind the striker that is also one that has the qualities to go with a shot from the distance but also pay attention to him because he's always waiting for this second ball second balls that can come from everywhere so if we have when we are in defense and when we want to take that ball out of our box be sure that you are taking them really really far away and trying to find a midfielder or some players that are there offensively because if we are putting them too close to our box well you can be sure that Mollet will be there waiting to unlock and unleash his shot from the distance again here 
we see one of the weaknesses of not that are in difficulties when the opposition team is playing between the lines. Then we continue with Bremer. Bremer that yesterday was super, super honest, saying that versus Monza and Napoli, he was a disaster. That's what he said in front of the microphones. No alibi from him. Of course, he play, He prefers to play in a three-man defense. Four-man defense we started the season with. It's not a problem for him, but he prefers a three-man defense. He said, and that's super important, we want, and that was also his first answer, we want to arrive at the end of the competition. So we see that Europa League will not be the Champions League, of course not, but can become the Champions League of Juventus. At least that's what everyone has in mind. We continue with uh, Gazzetta dello Sport. Again, Unai Emery had a beautiful interview there. He spoke about Dusan Vlaovic, that he still needs to grow, but that can potentially be one of the top five strikers of the world if he continues his work. He knew him really, he knows him really well because he saw him versus his Villarreal of last year Champions League. Not only that, he spoke about Allegri, what is his best quality, and he answered he is a born winner. Well, born winner, I hope, I really hope that today it can be confirmed because we need a win versus not and hopefully with a clean sheet hopefully with more than one goal grazie for the likes grazie for subscribing to the channel grazie forza you then